Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Study with Soumya. Make sure to subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed till now. For sure, this channel is going to be helpful for you. So make sure to subscribe. Also turn on the bell icon when subscribing the channel so that you don't miss any opportunity or update from the channel itself. Also do join us our Telegram channel. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself, right? So. In the continuation of the aptitude series that we have started for the TCS May and QT preparation, here we are going to discuss a very important topic from number system that is remainder theorem. So this is the very important topic that we will discuss, and after completion of the number system, we will discuss about the percentage, right? Because percentage is also very very important for you because the profit and loss, right? The profit and loss that we covered in the syllabus. that is related to percentage only so first you have to cover percentage then we will come to profit and loss right so as of now let's understand what is remainder theorem so we all know some things for example i said that can you divide can you divide 21 by 5 you said yes right why not 5 fourth ja and one is remainder so if i am saying that how can we get this 21 so you are saying no problem 21 can be uh, we can get 21 as 5 into 4 plus 1 okay so that is what remainder theorem so the formula is even we are already aware of the formula let me just tell you again so this is this 21 is what here dividend dividend right so the formula is dividend equal to this is what 5 is what divisor divisor into 4 is what quotient quotient plus remainder okay this is what our formula this is the formula for remainder theorem okay so this formula is going to be very helpful for you well some questions will be solving based on this formula only and like questions are going to be easy to moderate level okay so let's see some properties regarding remainder theorem so suppose if there is a number n okay if there is a number n and on dividing this by a divisor d we are getting r as the remainder right now in the question itself it is given that this number is now has been twice the same number that we were dividing has been twice now so what will happen remainder will also be twice okay so if on uh, doubling the remainder it is smaller than that of divisor then there is no such issue otherwise we have to divide this by divisor again similarly if we are multiplying 3 into number if we are multiplying 3 into the number then same thing we have to do for remainder also and if this on doing this operation on multiplying remainder by 3 it is being greater than that of divisor so we have to simply divide this by divisor again if suppose we are doing the square of the number then remind then we have to do the square for remainder also right if we are doing the cube of the number then we have to do the cube of the remainder also so that is what you can understand by all this that whatever operation we will do with the number the same operation we have to do with the remainder also right well we will do a do a question in the video itself uh, based on this property so that you can get a proper understanding so let's start with the first question now okay so the first question says if the divisor is 6 times of quotient and remainder is 3 times of quotient if remainder is 21 find the dividend okay so there is a divisor and there is a dividend we have to determine dividend we have to determine and quotient okay remainder given is 21 remainder given is 21 also they have mentioned that remainder is 3 times of quotient that is quotient equal to okay remainder is 3 times of quotient right so quotient is going to be r by 3 now here is given that remainder is 21 so quotient is going to be 21 by 3 that is 7 okay so we can directly write that quotient is what 7 quotient is what 7 that is what we calculated now it is also given that divisor is 6 times of quotient it means divisor is going to be 7 into 6 equal to 42 so divisor is 42 now just using this particular relationship that is we just discussed we can simply determine that what is going to be the dividend okay so dividend equal to dividend equal to what it is going to be 
42 into 7 plus remainder. Remainder is 21. So let's solve this. So we, what we can do? Let's take 21 as common. So 2 into 7 plus 1. 21 into 15. 15 1 15, 15 30 315 that is going to be our answer okay now let's see the next question so the question says two positive two positive numbers differ by 2001 when the large number is divided okay so suppose let's suppose two numbers are given x and y and y is greater than that of x so y minus x is given as 2001 okay by this line we can conclude this much part when the large number is divided by the smaller number okay large number is large number is which one y so when y is divided by the smaller part that is x the quotient is 9 so we are getting quotient is 9 and the remainder is 41 okay this is what we are getting so they are asking the sum of the digits of the large number so from this particular thing what relationship we can conclude that y equal to 9 into x plus 41 okay so this is what we are getting from here so what we can do we want this large number that is y right so let's multiply this particular e equation this whole equation by 9 so we are going to get 9y minus 9x equal to 9 to the 18 0 0 9 and let's take it here so 9x plus 41 equal to y okay what will happen this is of negative this let's just add it up so this is negative this is positive they will be cancelled. Now we are having 9y plus 41 equal to 18,009 and this is plus y. So this y will come here. Now we are having 8y plus 41 equal to 18,009. Let's subtract this 9 minus 1, 8, 10, 4, 6, 9 we are going to have 17. Okay and if you will divide this by 8 so what we are going to get? 8 to the 16 and this 2 to 4 6 okay so 2 to 4 6 is going to be the largest number now they are asking the sum of the digits of the large number so this is our large number that we got now the sum is 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 that is that is what 14 right so this is it let's move to the next question when a number x is divided by a divisor it is observed that the divisor is equal to 4 times the quotient. So it is given divisor is equal to 4 times that of quotient. Um, double the remainder. So, divi okay, divisor is also twice of the remainder. Now, given if remainder is 80. So, what we can do? We can directly put 80 here, right? So, 2 into 80 means 160. So, divisor is what? 160. 160. Now also we are having this relation that is 160 equal to 4q. So from here directly we can directly we can determine that quotient is equal to 40, right? Quotient is equal to 40. Now what they are asking the value of x. So x is what? Dividend. Basically x is what? Dividend. So what we can do? Simply now we are having remainder, we are having divisor and quotient as well. So just use the formula that we have. So divisor into quotient plus remainder, okay? And if you will solve it, so 6400 plus 80, that is going to give us 6480 as the output. So this is going to be our correct answer. So that is what the value of x. Let's see the next question now. On dividing a certain number by 342, we get 47 as remainder. So they are saying, if we are dividing a certain number, let's suppose the number is k. So if we are dividing this number by 342, we are getting 47 as the remainder okay on dividing we are getting 47 as the remainder so k this number can be written as something like k equal to 342 let's suppose quotient will be q so 342 q plus 47 this is how we can write this is how we can write k right so k is going to be this particular thing now they are saying that if the same number is divided by 18 what will be the remainder so this is the number that we calculated right this is the number so now if the same number that is c 42 into q plus 47 we are dividing by 18 so what will be the remainder so if you will divide if you will check so this whole 342 is divisible by this whole 342 is divisible by 18 so just we can say 18 1 18 and 
this particular term that is for example here we have this 342 so this is 100% definitely every time no matter which question is going to be going to be divisible by the number given suppose here it was 18 so you have to do directly just divide the remainder okay just divide the remainder from the given number that's it so instead of doing all this stuff we can do directly as 47 divided by 18 that is 11 is the answer we don't have to uh, determine the value of number and so and so just for the explanation purpose i did all this let's see the next question now so next question that we are having this if a number is divided by 13 leaves 11 as a remainder okay so suppose our number is x and when it is divided by 13 it leaves 11 as a remainder now what we are doing if the twice of the same number is divided by 13 so i just told i just told you the properties of remainder theorem so if we want twicing the number if you are twicing the number so you have to do the same thing in the remainder also so remainder is also going to be 22 now now you can see 22 is greater than that of divisor that is 13 so just simply again divide this by 13 itself so how many times it is going so what is going to be the remainder here 9 right so 9 is going to be the remainder here okay so this is the question that is for you as homework so you have to tell me that what will be the unit place digit of 4 raised to 4 raised to 993 right and in the next video we will discuss about the percentage well i won't say that these many questions are enough for the number system for sure you have to practice as much as you can and there are certain websites like on the google itself you will get certain a uh, mock test paper or so uh, what i would recommend that either you can purchase a book right either you can purchase a book like uh, rs agrawal is very famous for quantitative aptitude or any other book see books every book is good it depends on you whether you are able to understand or not and whether you are having that passion devotion towards solving the questions or so so every book is book uh, every book is good according to me and uh, Okay, online sir, you will get lots of materials. You can search just directly Google the number system questions for practice or so, or like that has been asked in the TCS or so. That is what you can do. And this question that I have give you homework, this was asked in Capgemini, right? So this was asked in Capgemini, so that is for sure you can understand that how much this unit digit concept was important for you. That's why I taught you the same. So these video will be helpful for you to clear the basics, and for sure we are doing the practice as well. but i won't say that these many questions are enough because aptitude is something which is all about practice right so keep on practicing guys i hope now your number system part is clear and the most important part here in the number system was that remainder theorem cyclicity and so we have certain other topics like is perfect numbers or so but for sure these they are very rare chance that tcs is going to ask the questions from them after the proper analysis i have chosen the topic so no need to worry just solve the question based on these topics like is cyclicity unit digit remainder theorem and so and in case of any doubt make sure to comment thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we will start about the percentage